Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you some tricks and tips on how to uh, wake up your uh, Apple iMac, MacBook, MacBook Air, or MacBook Pro. But uh, mine is a little bit different because uh, I believe mine has a hard drive uh, failure. So I'm just going to show you real quick about my uh, iMac. This one is the, it was a purchase around uh, back in uh, 2008. And recently I did an update or software update. And I believe it's about two days ago. Yeah. And then after you finish the update and then restart it and it was very slow uh, to put up to my uh, login uh, page. And after I put, type in the password and login, and then it was just very, very slow. So all of a sudden, I decided to, I, wait, I think I wait for like a couple hours and still did not boot uh, to the desktop. So anyway, I power off the iMac, my iMac, and then... Uh, Restarted, rebooted, and all of a sudden I got this uh, either gray display or so-called uh, white dis uh, screen uh, sudden of death. So I'm just going to show you my Mac real quick. As you can see, I kept it in uh, pretty good condition. As you can see, I did not even remove my... Uh, Plastic protective uh, for the Apple logo display. So in case yours uh, happen to you like uh, like that, you want to make sure you unplug all the peripherals and then uh, just leave your mouse and keyboard plug in only. So for example, you have an external uh, USB drive or anything like that, you want to remove it and take it out all the way or unplug your uh, uh, headphone jack or anything like that and try to eject uh, all the CD out, out, out of your uh, iMac or MacBook or MacBook Pro. So what I got here is uh, I'm gonna, just going to try to uh, plug it in and then show you guys uh, what I mean. Make sure it's plugged in. And I'm gonna plug in my keyboard and mouse only. Then plug in the power to your outlet. So I'm going to press the power on right now. So as you can see, uh, my display will show uh, on this uh, gray or white screen of sudden death. And after that, it will not do anything. So for example, if, you guys, if it's happened to you guys like this, you might want to do is uh, press uh, Option key, Command, and then a R and P button at the same time while you power on your uh, iMac. And then after that, you will uh, let, the, let the iMac uh, beep twice and uh, let, let go of the keys, and that should solve your problem. 
By pressing that, you are resetting the PRAM or the NVRAM, which is the parameter uh, RAM, to a default setting. And uh, that would not allow, uh, uh, erase anything. So let's go ahead and try it. So I'm going to focus on the keyboard, right? So you want to focus on this uh, option key right here, or the Alt, A-L-T, and then the command, R and P, okay? So you want to shut off your iMac first. So while you're shutting off, you want to make sure uh, you try to press it. And then uh, power on your uh, iMac or your MacBook. Let it uh, chime the second time, that's first time. And then the second time after it chimes. Then you let go of the keys, okay, all the keys. And that should resolve your problem or issues. Because mine, I believe mine has a hard drive failure, so it's not going to do it. So another, uh, another option is to press a shift key, command, R, and P, okay? It might work for a certain uh, Mac. MacBook or MacBook Pro or iMac depends a uh, different type of version. And some people say it works. Some people say only the option command R and P works. So another way is to uh, press down the option. I mean the Shift key, Command R and P. Okay. And believe me, I also try to press down the shift key when uh, booting up or uh, press down, uh, and press and hold down C while the computer is booting up to, to go to my uh, optical drive to uh, restore my uh, iMac. But somehow it did not do that. So that means uh, I, when I troubleshoot it like this, that mean uh, my either my hard drive is a uh, failure, so I believe that's a that's a problem because when I power it on, I cannot even hear the hard drive uh, spinning. Okay, so I'm going to review the if you got the circle with the well mainly the question mark with the folder. If you do those command, if it works for you, then that'll be great. And if not, then that means uh, your uh, MacBook Air or MacBook Pro or my uh, iMac uh, cannot find a uh, startup system. It could happen uh, because uh, files that are uh, needed to boot the computer are damaged or uh, drives directly is uh, damaged. So this could also happen uh, when you uh, your computer has a dead drive. So I believe mine is the dead drive, okay? And sometimes when, uh, when I leave it like this, uh, after a couple of minutes, the question mark with the folder will, dis will appear. And after that, I might get like a circle with a slash over it. And after that, it disappears and then stays on like this. So uh, another thing is uh, if you go to to use your disk utility to repair the main partition, if that allows you to do that, that means your hard drive is in good condition, okay? So it's not damaged. And another viewer was saying that, oh, the iMac is overheating. So I power off 
uh, the, my iMac for overnight and turn on the next morning and it still give me this uh, same uh, display so hopefully this will help you guys out and another thing you guys want to do is uh, press command R to recover partition if it, if it uh, works then your hard drive is uh, in good condition as well okay so hopefully you guys uh, keep a thumbs up and uh, like the video and hopefully within those uh, comments uh, it will bring it will bring back your iMac or your MacBook or uh, MacBook Pro or your MacBook Air okay and I'm uh, stressed out with this uh, update every time uh, last time I did the update somehow my iMac was uh, running uh, pretty slow with the uh, recent uh, updates or the most uh, uh, operating system. I should have just stayed with the Leopard, you know, it was working smooth and I had no problem. And when they offer me a free download and free uh, latest software, so I figured why not and that was a big mistake. It makes my system run slower and with the with this uh, most recent update, it even ran even slower like a freaking turtle and now it's uh, damaged my hard drive or something like that because I let it I let it run and update overnight and I believe that damaged my hard drive. Hopefully I will get a new hard drive and then uh, restore back to my old uh, operating system and uh, keep you guys update, all right? Please uh, be sure to share this or comment and then um, uh, if you experience this uh, problem, please uh, comment below so you can share with uh, all of our viewers and see what you guys did, if any of this comment will help you guys out to restore. All right. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you guys on the next uh, video. Peace out.